Right, good morning, good afternoon people, welcome back to another bit of a live commentary for Vanguard. My thoughts, eight, eight months in and the game is still broken, glitched, hacked to death, um, pay war to get stuff, all this rubbish. So, my thoughts on season four is absolute shocking, it's terrible, terrible update. Terrible season. Uh, the battle pass is rubbish. I'm not bothering paying for it. I'm not not purchasing it. Just getting the freebies like the free guns, SMG, LMG, and other stuff. Um, to be honest, I'm not bothered about Call of Duty Vanguard no more. I've never been for months. It's just been one of those Call of Duty games. I've been a uh, Call of Duty player and a fan for years, and just keep playing it because they've playing for camos. But again, glitched. Can't unlock camos because they're still bugged in some areas. Zombies, multiplayer, um, hero gear. So going for your character gears, you can't do it because you've got to pay 4,800 cod points to get the other two operators to get the uh, mastery uh, suits unlocked. I'm not wasting any money on that. 40 quid for for that. You can forget about it. 2,400 cod points is. £20 UK currency. I'm not doing it. So you got to get 4,800, 40 whatever card points. 4,800 card points, forget that. 40 quid? No way. I'll have a day out of putting in my pocket, you know what I mean? But the game in general, it's, it's, it's big. It's like a one big syndrome. Freaking game experience, I will say it. I don't care. Like it's, it's literally a syndrome player experience. You can't do nothing. You um you see somebody first and you just get completely game lags you out and just bugs and all this other stuff, it's terrible. Um Warzone is brilliant, I'm not gonna discuss Warzone in this video, it's all about Vanguard because we know Warzone is decent. But when it comes to Vanguard and the updates, there's just nothing. Um Champions Hill. What is the point in that? coming into the game there's just no updates for that I was looking forward to make content on that play solos duos trios whatever it is on there there's no maps for it there's nothing for it um, every update we've had for seasons they've no added no new maps so that's a complete waste of time being in the game they said they were going to put gunfight in Champions Hill it hasn't arrived eight months later um, zombies it's not zombies, it is terrible. Uh, glitches, bugs, camos is not working, and just the whole storyline for zombies, it's rubbish. There's nothing to do. And it seems like it's not even a zombie experience, but again, it's a fail Call of Duty at the end of the day. Um, and the one thing I want to get on today as well is this Call of Duty sim. CDL competitive sweat mentality. You're playing a public lobby multiplayer game. You're not playing a CDL championship final. So having a team full of sweats, no offence, in phase outfits, trying their hardest. Put some effort in your life at the end of the day. Because I'm casually playing after work, I'm having a relax in an evening couple of beers with the mates, won a few games, have some fun, can't do it, it's like I'm playing rank play or freaking CDL finals, it's, it's a joke, but again Modern Warfare 2's right around the corner and I'm looking forward to that, hopefully it's decent, but again, we will see with the player base, you know what the player base is like in Call of Duty, um, you, you are the one that spoiled this game as well, I know it's been broken since day one. But when you're getting outgunned and you're literally crying to the developers, writing a whole freaking love letter to them that they are changing stuff for you, you're making the game even worse. But apart from that, it is just a waiting game on what they are literally going to do with this game because it's never going to get fixed, it's never going to get updated properly. And literally, I'm right around the corner of deleting this game and just trading it in 
for something else. Another game, just go to the local game shop, trade the game in, and get another game. So, I'm not bothered. Um, yeah, Season 5, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not even bothering with Season 5. Um, I've got like four, four, four to three days played on this game. Because it's been that terrible, but again... I'm not bothered. It's like, I'm not going to put the effort in or put any reason of playing this game if it is broken. Because I wanted to make content for videos on camos, the mastery suits, like the gold and diamond suits, whatever it is. And just have fun zombies, Dark Aether. Uh, I wanted to go for atomic camo, but again, camo glitches and bugs. Uh, my main focus was Champion Hill and gunfight, but again, there's been nothing, zero, absolute zero for that. And yeah, it's just a pay to win system. You waste your money on operator suits, space guns, well, it's, a, it's a World War II theme game. And it looks like I'm playing with E.T. Like, we've got all these laser guns, these, um... Superhero alien shit in the game. It's it's pointless. It's it's a pointless system with Call of Duty lately. I'm bringing a World War II theme. We went from Cold War. That was the early 80s, the late 70s to early 80s theme. Then we go, right, we're going back to World War II. Okay, that's fine. Looking forward to it. You know me as a player, love the World War II. Call of Duty, the original. That was a brilliant game. But again, you bring basically E.T. into the game. Laser guns, the spaced superhero thing programs. For what? Just to ruin a broken World War II experience because you can't make a game. And it's a pay to win a pay war basically it's shit I will say it I don't care Call of Duty fanboys I don't care get offended whatever you don't like the truth but again pay to win you're going to pay to win Rose 3.0 2400 cod well no sorry $20 or 1679 UK currency but again, if you put your credit card details in, it's 16 quid. If you're not, you've got to get a £20 gift card for your platform. And again, you can't have the change because you're going to have it on your console. But that Rose 3.0, it's broken, glitched. You can't see it in games. I can't see it in Vanguard multiplayer when I play. Can't see it in Warzone, but it's another easy help to win system for rubbish players or whatever so. the um, thing with this game pay to win broken glitched hacked to death CDL shit whatever it's just been a boring experience for Call of Duty at the end of the day but once again they don't give a shit because they're making their millions so but if you did go for your atomic camo, fair play to you, but I know the struggle. I've given up with camos, I give up with dark aether and zombies because it's been a broken experience. So rant, commentary today, truthful experience, what I think of the game. Season 4 is rubbish, season 5 is going to be rubbish. I'm not buying the battle passes, I'm getting the free guns. Then see you later, alligator, modern warfare 2. Hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you on a new one very shortly. Enjoy your Sunday, your weekend. Take it easy. Goodbye for now.